Welcome back out to another one of our standout student interviews as it's time for us to talk to one that's actually a, a very interesting one right now because we have a lot of foreign exchange students who come from other countries that we talk to here, but now Zeke Hirsch joining us and you just got back. Well, I shouldn't say just got back, but you're back from a foreign exchange trip the other way around going to Copenhagen and Denmark. Before we talk about that, how's it been getting adjusted to, to life here again after you, you've been gone for so long? I say like the probably the hardest part of my exchange was coming back it, during the summer when I first came back, it was just really rough, like leaving all my friends there and just like the reverse culture shock, honestly. But I think over time, I've just gotten used to it. I mean, I've lived here for the rest of my life, so. <laughs> you talk about living here. Uh, you, you come back for your senior year, and that means you do have some classes that you're working through. You said English and, and, and the language arts are kind of the ones you're enjoying most now. Yeah. What part of that have you enjoyed most this year? Um, just like our different writing prompts, like I've always really enjoyed writing and, um, Mr. Griffin, the senior English teacher, I think has, um, done some really cool, like essays and stuff we have to do. So especially with English and other languages, do you like it when a teacher finds different ways of trying to get the same point across or different ways to challenge you? Yeah, because the teachers can definitely just follow the curriculum that the state gives and I think like basically teach you the same thing every year. But some teachers do a really good job of like putting their own twist on the things. You said teaching wise, that was another adjustment to come back to as teaching over in, in Denmark was a little bit more or Copenhagen was a little bit more personal and a little bit more individual based. Like you just had your class that you did every class with. So you get to know the students in your class really well. And then you also form just a nice relationship with the teachers you have. It didn't seem so much like they were my teacher, more just my friend. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. <laughs> with that being said, let's just jump right over and talk a little bit about the experience that you had over there. First, how did you get involved in, in a foreign exchange program? My mom did an exchange program to Sweden when she was a junior in high school, and she did it through um, Rotary International. And I had heard of Rotary in Salida, so I just reached out to them, and yeah, then I just got involved. <laughs> what made you choose Copenhagen? Was that something you chose or something that, that hey, here's your list of four or five and, and to choose? What made you choose that one, though? Yeah, so with the Rotary program, you choose five countries, and Denmark was my first choice, actually. Um, I met some really cool Danish girls that were here. Um, uh yeah, they were exchange students here, and they just told me all about Denmark, and they just really sold it to me. And so I was lucky enough to get my first choice, and then even luckier to get Copenhagen. <laughs> There's a lot you can learn when you go overseas, and it's not just the, the, the class side of things, but what were some of the biggest lessons that you took away, whether it's personal, educational, just seeing things around you? What What's the biggest stuff you took away? Um, probably that, like... I I met like a lot of people from all over the world and of course Danish people too. Once you get to know someone, like in the end, we're all humans. That's one of the things I love about going abroad is it opens up your eyes, whether it's even traveling states or traveling to different countries. Yeah. It, it opens your eyes to how different stuff is. But now that you're back here, you're looking at, at the next steps for you. What are what what is after high school going to be for you? What, what are you kind of looking at as the next steps? Definitely a lot more travel. Um, I really liked living in Europe, so um, I think I'm going to go to Spain next year because I also want to learn Spanish, so it's like the perfect match. <laughs> what, what advice would you give to a kid thinking about it, maybe nervous about that step overseas because it's a long ways to go, it's a long commitment. Mm -hmm. How would you talk to them about that if they're on the edge? Just do it. Like um, so many people have told me like, oh, I wish I could have done an exchange program, et cetera. Like, and I'm just like, why didn't you? Like, there's a lot of options and it's not as hard as you think. So um, I think the experience is definitely worth just pursuing it. Well, I would agree with that. And by the sounds of this, it was definitely worth it for you. Zeke, thanks so much for the time, man. And congrats on being a standout student. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>